what's going on guys purple thumper here bringing you another commentary on my gameplays this is a demolition match on underpass i'm using the uh... bling pro perk on the famas with the silence and the red dot sight um, stop and power ninja pro are the other perks the uh... kill streaks are seven eleven twenty five harrier chopper gunner nuke this is a nuke match um... I am posting this video. I know I said I'd stop doing new commentaries, but I figured I'd post this video because I go 114 kills on this map and only 12 deaths. So it's actually it's a pretty good commentary. I do get two nukes in this game. Uh, actually, could have gotten three, but the one chopper gunner uh, doesn't do too well. I think I only get like five or six kills in it or something like that, maybe less. But um, I actually I have some some Gears of War 2 footage. Uh, if a lot of you guys follow me, some of you may or may not know, I'm actually better at Gears of War, that franchise, than I actually am at Call of Duty. So, um, uh, I might, you know, post up some, some commentaries on some gameplay on Gears of War 2. Uh, I'm in the process, actually, I have a, a Gears of War 2 montage in the works. It's about halfway through. I want to put some other, some more clips in it to make it a little longer, but probably going to post that up. Now you can see here, I'm just kind of trying to spawn camp them a little bit. Uh, underpass, I'm really starting to like um, as far as nukes go, just because there's a lot of spots you can really, you can really choose to hide. I mean, you can stay up here and, and watch them come from their spawn by A, or you can kind of just stay over there and watch them by B. You know, you can camp out a, a bomb site to help your team out. So I don't, I'm kind of, kind of starting to like it. If it's one of the maps to where if you don't have a feel for it at first it can be kind of frustrating and a pain in the butt but um... i've, I've kind of figured out a system right here that kind of works out decent for it um, but anyway i'm also using um... semtex grenades and stun grenades on and of course the death streaks uh... copycat the secondary weapon is the uh... pp2000 with extended mags and fmj on it but um... I do get, let's see, I get three Harriers this game, I think, and I get three Chopper Gunners, but I only pull two nukes out of them. Um, I know you guys are kind of sick of seeing nuke videos, and um, I'm going to stop gonna stop recording nuke videos and putting them up. I just figured this would be the last one just because, you know, 114 kills and only 12 deaths, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, so I'll stay away from the nuke videos and let's do something crazy again like this, you know, really really amazing k to d spread or maybe you know three nukes in one game that'd be kinda kinda nice to get it up but i will try to send this match this commentary gameplay and the uh... the double nuke almost triple nuke on invasion commentary when i went ninety six and eight I'm gonna send those out to machinima hopefully maybe they can uh... they'll pick up one but um... anyway back to it here uh... let me know what you guys want as far as you know upcoming commentaries because i just as far as kill streaks go, maybe I'll go back and do some sabotage matches. Maybe I'll just stick with demo because I feel that's you know obviously my strongest thing. But um, just just let me know what kind of kill streaks you want me to run. Uh, there you can see I just got my Harrier. Um, as far as Harriers go, I think people sometimes that I've been playing with lately, some of my friends have been having a hard time getting Harrier kills. It's always a good. You can see I get two kills with the Harrier airstrike part. It's always a good. Uh, when in doubt, if you don't know where the enemy team is, drop it near their spawn, if not right on their spawn. Just because you can, you know, if if they're not in their spawn temporarily, once your teammates start killing them, you know, they're going to have to go back to their spawn eventually, and then that's when your Harrier doesn't work. You can see I have the chopper under now. I'm just trying to figure out where to go and call it in. And, of course, it's always a good spot to hide is in some tall grass, which helps out. Um, Afghan has some. This map has a lot of it. But... This is nuke number one, I do believe. Can't exactly remember how many kills I get here. That's two. Get three here. This is a good spawn for the nuke. I mean, if you can keep them trapped in there, they have a hard time shooting it down. Uh, I do prefer this side to try to get a nuke with the chopper gunner rather than the other spawn. Um, but I think I actually get, I think I get one in each, one nuke in each of the spawn sites. I think the uh, the chopper gunner that doesn't get me that many kills is when I'm trying to like this one when I'm trying to kill him at this spawn but you can see here I'm just trying to you know I'm trying to pick up as many kills as I can especially something that helps you out in the chopper gunner just keep spraying you know don't 
don't stop shooting unless the chopper gunner's in a stationary position and you want it to move then you know you stop shooting it will eventually move somewhere else but here you can see it's you know it's it's making its good rounds there you can see right there 25 kills so i've gotten a nuke already and we're we're about five and a half minutes into the match so i mean that's that's not too bad you know nuke in the first round and whenever whenever if you can get a nuke in the first round that's really going to set you up well for um trying to get a double nuke or possibly even a triple nuke um one other thing though it's you know it's it's not easy doing these kind of things getting multiple nukes in one game if you're not running with a full team of six you know because you have to have a lot of teamwork a lot of cooperation to where you know you got to give them you have to let the other team win a round you want to when you're facing a team like this that you know you're you're beating pretty easily or that they're just not as good as your team you want to let them win a whole round because you want to be able to get as much time playing against them as you possibly can um, our strategy a lot of the time is it's easiest to to win when we're defending and then let them win when we're attacking because when you're attacking you basically you control that round not the defending team you choose you can choose whether you want to win it or not and a lot of times you'll see here what we do to lose a round is we'll only plant one bomb site hold it until it blows up and then we'll just camp around the other bomb site here i think big mac actually has a chopper gunner of his own i think or harry or something so um i've shown him a spot that's a pretty good spot to hide down at um we're in the process of trying to trying to pick up a second nuke i had no idea and you can see this guy's actually camping there which is kind of a <laughs> i don't know interesting i guess gotta love guys who especially snipers who camp um they instead of sniping they'll just camp in a corner with like an acock side and an intervention and wait for you to come around the corner that's just that's i don't know it just frustrates me how some people's tactics in this game are but yeah, i guess i can't really complain i know i'm a try hard and i know that probably pisses a lot of people off but that's just how i am you can see here i'm just kind of i know they're rushing our spawn for some reason i don't know why you know what what they're doing i don't know if they forgot they're defending or what but speaking of um having teams rush your spawn i don't have this game recorded but um i figured i'd share the story with you i was playing the other day with um the bunch of guys i think lost stray and urmc shadow and and infamous all those guys and um we're playing playing against this team on karachi and you know karachi is a pretty easy map to spawn trap a team in because spawns are kind of weird like that and we got spawn traps so hard we still ended up winning because they were spawn trapping us so hard that they let some of us you know they didn't really care about protecting the bombs or planting any bombs so we still ended up beating them but our kdds were all really bad you know because they were spawn trapping us so hard and i was getting pretty pissed off so i told infamous i said you know what that's whatever next match we're staying in this room we're not backing out i was like and i'm gonna camp my spawn if they're gonna freaking you know if they're gonna spawn camp is that hard i'm gonna camp our spawn and i'm gonna i'm gonna get harriers just from being in our spawn and the next map of course was invasion so we spawned embassy side and um i camped by that um i stayed by the the tank by the embassy which if you're spawning embassy it's on the right side of the map camp by that tank stayed by the tank the whole entire time within i no lie 30 seconds of the first round i got harriers already i ended up um ended up i think going 80 something in like 10 something like that and i actually got two nukes and um, both of the nukes, I actually, uh, I didn't move from that tank. I stayed in that spot the whole time, whole entire time. And they just kept rushing us. That's how hard they were spawn. They were start trying to spawn campus. Their whole entire team just kept rushing the spawn, and I just used the silenced tar. And I was just, you know, I was lighting them up. They kept rushing me over and over, and ended up getting two nukes. Uh, I actually got a third, third chopper gunner, but I ended up getting killed. And then I got a fourth set of harriers, and I ended up getting killed while those were out. So. It could have been a legitimate chance for possibly a triple nuke. Kind of glad I didn't get it, though, because I would have been kind of pissed if I would have triple nuked the team and not recorded it. But I just found it was you know, kind of funny that I you know, I, I did nothing but camp my own spawn the whole entire game and ended up getting two nukes. That's how um, that's how hard. I've never seen a team spawn camp, try to spawn camp that hard before. But anyway, back to this commentary. You can see, you know, I'm still, I don't have another set of Harry's. I'm still just kind of run around for it trying to figure out how they're running because a lot of times if you start off like we did the first round um defending 
a lot of times a team will play completely different defending than they will attacking they'll go different places and stuff like that so you can't you can't do something in the first round and expect it to work out the same the next round because you know they're they're not going to be sitting back and see there i just got a harrier and then got commando knife i think so i dropped those just to get them out of the way but um anyway back to my story you can't you know you can't expect the team to run the same places on the map when they're defending rather than when they're attacking so this round i'm just trying to get a feel for for how they're moving around the map and where they're pushing the most and stuff like that and um that's i think that's the number one key to uh to my success and why I get as many nukes as i do or why i play as well as i do and why we win as much because i think my whole strategy for demolition is just you know when when you're defending defend and you know figure out which bomb site they're rushing the most and how they're running the map and then when you know when you're attacking just try to figure out which bomb site they're pushing the most and which way they're coming from because every team every player has their tendencies of where they like to rush on you know each certain map i mean you guys watch my videos you could tell you know i mean on high rise they don't call that one tank by a bomb site a thumpers tank for nothing you know what i mean i'm always up on that tank or around it you know, rarely ever see me by b bomb site on high rise um you know look at a uh, scrapyard i'm always by bomb site a you never see me at bomb site b so you know, every player has their tendencies and how they like to uh how they like to run run the map and which side they like to stick to and stuff like that so if you can for the most part figure out the uh, the enemy's t tactics and where they're running you should be pretty you know you should you should be set pretty decent because i mean if you you know and if they don't change their tactics it's just going to be easy kills for you because they're just going to keep rushing the same spots over and over again so i mean which is you know a plus for you but you can see here i did get noob tubed a couple seconds ago which is you know <laughs> i can't stand getting noob tubed but it is what it is here you can see i pick up a, a second set of a third set of harriers excuse me just by you know doing work here um like I've said before in my last commentary on Invasion, this FAMAS, I'm really starting to like it. I just did finish the 1,000 headshots with it, so I'm actually using the M16 now, trying to get the 1,000 headshots for that. But there, I was taking my time to line up a headshot, and it wasn't, wasn't fast enough. A teammate beat me to that kill, but you can see, coming up shortly, I do get the third set of Harriers, which um I do believe... I can't honestly really remember if I get the nuke on my second chopper gunner. If I get the second nuke on my second chopper gunner, or if I get the second nuke on my third chopper gunner. Um, but this um, part one of the 114 and 12 match on underpass is just about over. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys part two pretty soon. You can see the Harriers coming up. This killer right here. There's the third set of Harriers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you at part two.